to the big breaking. The Indian and Chinese troops were reportedly engaged in a clash in the Tawang sector on December the 9th. Well, as per news agency ANI, on the 9th of December, the PLA troops contacted the LAC in Tawang sector of Arunachal Pradesh, which was contested by the Indian troops in a firm and resolute manner. Well, this face-off led to minor injuries to a few personnel from both sides. Both sides immediately disengaged from the area. Now, as a follow-up of the incident, India's commander in the area held a flag meeting with his counterpart to discuss the issue in accordance with structured mechanisms to restore peace and tranquility. Well, this is the big break in this hour. The Indian and the Chinese troops were reportedly engaged in a clash in the Tawang sector on December the 9th. Well, as per agency ANI, on the 9th of December, the PLA troops contacted the LAC in Tawang sector of Arunachal Pradesh, which was contested by the Indian troops in a firm and resolute manner. Well, this face-off led to minor injuries to a few personnel from both the sides. Now, both sides immediately disengaged from the area. Well, joining me live on joining me on the phone rather this evening is our editor in chief Wesby Hussain. Wesby, welcome to the broadcast. Of course, this is not the first time that the PLA has been provoking the Indian side. What's the latest? Do you have? Uh, this is a development that has taken place on the 9th of December. That is what uh, sources are telling us that this uh, skirmish between the Indian uh, military personnel and the Chinese PLA took place in Yangtze in the Tawang sector of Arunachal Pradesh. The place name where, is, where the skirmish took place is called Yangtze. This is in the Tawang sector. The incident uh, is said to have taken place on the 9th of December. And uh, there have been injuries on both sides, minor injuries on the Indian side. A few of the soldiers had uh, some injuries and they are apparently being treat treated at the uh, Army Base Hospital in Guwahati. And, and they are saying that Several Chinese soldiers, the number of injuries on the Chinese side is said to be much, much higher. Uh, that's what sources are telling us. Uh, and and uh, there were about 600 PLA troops uh, in that area where, where the, the, the engagement took place in the Yangtze area in the Tawang sector of Ornato Pradesh. Uh, sources are telling us that there was an estimated around 600 PLA troops uh, in that area where they engaged into some kind of a confrontation with the uh, Indian Army soul troopers in that area. There was some kind of a fracas, there was some kind of a skirmish in which a few Indian soldiers uh, were injured. They have been treated at army base hospitals, uh, including uh, the one in Kohati. Uh, we don't know the details yet, but the injuries on the Chinese side are said to be much, much higher. That's what we are hearing. Uh, and the local commanders uh, have already uh, held their flag meet to defuse the situation. Uh, we have been told that there has been a disengagement, uh, but we yet don't know the details. Uh, our sources mm -hmm. are telling us that an official version is about to be released by the army. Uh, probably, perhaps it is going to come from the Eastern Command. We yet don't know who is going to come up with this official version. Uh, but let me tell you, uh, uh, Aaron, that this is the first time after the 15th June 2020 incident in the Galwan Valley, uh, where 20 Indian soldiers had lost their lives and an uh, unspecified number of Chinese troopers belonging to the PLA had lost their lives. So after the 15 June 2020 incident in the Galwan Valley in the Ladakh sector, this is the first time that there has been a confrontation between the Indian Army and uh, the Chinese PLA. And this time it happened to be in the Tawang sector along the Arunachal Pradesh uh, uh, frontier. Uh, so the, the place where this incident took place, as we have been reporting, is at Yangtze. Yangtze and the incident took place on December the 9th. Uh, and that's what we are hearing several soldiers on the Indian side, a few soldiers on the Indian side sustained injury, injuries, but several soldiers on the Chinese side were injured. That's what the sources are telling us. So this is uh, something which we are uh, tracking. This is a big development that we are tracking as far as the Northeast is uh, concerned. Uh, and, and, and we will bring you more details uh, in in. in in the subsequent bulletins, and we'll try to get you more details even in this bulletin towards the later part. But this is a big story as far as uh, the skirmish between the Indian military and the Chinese PLA. Several Chinese soldiers are said to be injured. 
All right, and you know, as we, just in context of Arunachal, again, the, India has to take a tougher stand here because, you know, from dams, construction and villages, well, these are worrying trends if the Indian government allows such stories to be narrative in the future. Well, India has been adopting a no-nonsense approach. Adop India has been adopting a tough approach, uh, uh, you know, as far as dealing with the uh, Chinese uh, misadventures. Uh, there has been a lot of transgressions uh, India has been able to thwart these tender transgressions. And now, even on the Tawang sector, uh, you know, Indian Army is firmly poised to deal with the, uh, with any kind of a misadventure from the Chinese side. And there are eight to nine advanced landing grounds, uh, uh, Aaron, which are in an, uh, already operational uh, by the Indian government, Indian military establishment has already made about nine advanced landing grounds operational along the frontier with China. So we have got a huge firepower. Our strength has increased. And there is a lot of infrastructure buildup on the Indian side along the Chinese frontier. There is a tunnel that has come up on, on the way to Tawang so that the Indian civilians as well as the military movement uh, can take place at a faster speed. So all these developments have taken place the last a couple of years, and now India is a firmly poised to deal with any kind of a misadventure from the Chinese side. Uh, we are we are we are getting information based on well-informed sources. Uh, based on well-informed sources, we are getting information now that in certain areas along the line of actual control in the Tawang sector in Arunachal Pradesh. There are areas, as we know, of differing perception, wherein both sides patrol the area up to their claim lines. Well, this has been the trend since 2006. And sources are telling us that on the 9th of December, PLA troops contacted the line of actual control PLA in Tawang sector, which was, they, 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 they crossed, actually. They came close to the line of actual control in Tawang sector, which was contested uh, by the Indian troops in a firm and resolute manner. This face-off led to minor injuries to few personnel from both sides. Uh, you know, sources are now telling us that this face-off They've confirmed the payoff on the 9th of December, and they're saying that this has led to minor injuries to a few personnel on both sides. Now, both sides have immediately disengaged from the area. Now, there is no confrontation now. That's what we are made to understand. Uh, we, they said that there has been immediate disengagement from the area. As a follow-up of the incident, uh, our own commander in the area held a flag meeting with his counterpart to discuss the issue in accordance with structured mechanisms to restore peace and tranquility. So these are what defense sources are basically telling us. They've confirmed the skirmish that took place in Yangtze area in the Tawang sector on the 9th of June. They said that the PLA, uh, PLA troops they, 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 they reached the line of actual control in Tawang sector. It was immediately contested by the Indian Army located in the area in a firm and resolute manner. That's what the defense sources are telling us. And they also said that the local commander held a flight meeting immediately and the both sides have disengaged. Now, this, this issue arose because there are areas of differing perceptions uh, along that area. There are areas of differing perceptions wherein both sides, whether the Indian Army and the Chinese PLA, they patrol the areas up to their claim line. Now, this has been the practice since 2006. And it is one of those, during one of those patrols that they, they, they almost reached or transgressed the line of actual control in the Tawang sector. This was absolutely contested in a firm and resolute manner by the Indian Army. And that is when the face-off took place that led to injuries to few personnel from both sides. All right, well, this is the big development right now. You just heard it there from our editor-in-chief, Wesbir Hussain. And according to highly placed sources, no confrontation now. There has been immediate disengagement. Once again, our editor-in-chief, Wesbir Hussain, thank you so much.